and ho ho ho! I wear this sweater way too much around Christmas. Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you on this Christmas? Shooting on location today in Woodbridge, Virginia. Let's go. Um, this is one I couldn't find in Studio City. This one is from Guinness, but it is actually, I'm looking at it, it's from Guinness Open Gate Brewery that's actually in Baltimore, Maryland. So it didn't actually come from Leinster Island. Just a heads up. Uh, this one is called Chocolate Mint Stout, aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels. This one, I don't have the Richter button. 10.8 on the Richter. Ding, 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 ding. Big, boy, big bad boy. Uh, so basically what they did, they used uh, with their, I think their regular kind of recipe for their stout. They used dried mint in the Whirlpool in the brewing. Then they aged it in the Kentucky bourbon barrels. Then, right after that, they used pure liquid cocoa post barrel, as I said, uh, with the, uh, which blend with the oak, vanilla, and bourbon characteristics found in the bourbon casks. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it even says on the bottle, uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, a brew of minty, malty sweetness with oak and cocoa finish. So there you go. Just trying to keep my head head above ground here. So biggie ups. Bought a couple bottles of this. You know, had one already, but we'll see if I I didn't know how I thought about it first time, but we'll see. 10.8 on the Richter. Let's get it on this Christmas. All right. On Christmas, do me a favor. The usual, cr crush that like button. Give me that present, and crush the the uh, subscribe button. That's more important to me. Crush the subscribe button. Give me that Christmas gift. Give me, give me you as a subscriber, and biggie ups yourself. All right. So, you get, like, fr like almost, almost peppermint patty right off the bat. But it doesn't feel, feel like, real bold. It feels kind of like a caramel, uh, as it says, multi-peppermint uh, patty. So, back up a little bit here. No words, just emotions. Merry Christmas. It's, it is drinkable for 10.8%. Feels actually, I don't want to say thin, but drinkable, as I said. Um, let me pull that, you know, candy cane down. Excuse me. Kind of looks like, uh, you know, that horror movie Freddy, too. So, I think it's Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Just need claws and a hat and all that. Anyway. Definitely nice. Not, not crazy mint, but mint's definitely prevalent. The thing that I noticed on the first one, which I'm trying to see if I get on the second one, is that, you know, it was aged in, in uh, the bourbon barrels. I'm not sure if I really get the big bourbon uh, aged taste that you, you, you might, you know, expect from it. I mean, I was I saw when this came out, or at least when it was advertised, and finally found it, I was thinking maybe you'd get kind of that, you know, sort of toffee, caramel, bourbon sweetness to go along with the mint, but... Kind of in there. It's 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 interesting to pair a bourbon barrel aged stout with with something that has mint in it. So I've talked to a lot of friends who kind of feel the same way. My buddy Pete, he knows what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, not a uh, not too much to say on this. I'm really not going to uh, you know see. Well, you know what? No, I'm gonna get one comment for you just to see. Check myself. Hold on. Okay, had to be careful, didn't knock the camera over, but, so I'm going to give you th three comments I found on Untapped. Uh, this guy, Chris, has been excited to try this. Progression of flavors goes mint, bourbon, chocolate mint, peppermint patty, finish, a good Christmas Day brew. The other two are basically just complimented, you know, that's a compliment as well. Uh, almost like a dark chocolate peppermint patty, enjoyable, gives a pretty good grade on it. And uh, thin but good flavor. I don't want to say it's thin, but I, I see see what that person's saying. So uh, I think those were about the only three that I wanted to throw in there. Good morning, Merry Christmas. There you go. So a lot of people just getting in the Christmas spirit. This is a nice Christmas Day beer. I do, now that I'm really trying to look for it, you, you get a subtle hint of that kind of like toffee, caramel, bourbon that kind of for a second gets a quick note of it. Right after you go through the mint. Okay. 
And for 10.8, again, mouthfeel on this, uh, definitely me medium mouthfeel. I mean, it feels just bigger than a, like a, you know, a big multi uh, lager. Uh, so I'd say just about medium. So, but even that, I'd say it's mouthfeel is probably like 35% out of a hundred. Um, it, for 10.8, I wouldn't, I'm not sure if I would have guessed 10.8, um, uh, come out of the shadows. Sorry about that. Let's see this beautiful face. All right. I probably would have guessed like somewhere in the nines, maybe 10, because it just doesn't feel like it's 10.8. Uh, I think it's just the mint really makes it more like thin and drinkable. If, if that makes sense, you know, how mint, mints can really cut through flavor. Uh, but yeah, so it's not bad, but I mean, for the price, like, you know, you can get a four pack of this, I think for like, usually like 20 bucks. Um, uh, not bad. I, I, I don't know if I, I would say, you know, run out and grab it, but it's interesting to try if, if, if you make sure you like mint for sure. Anyway. I'm going to uh, do a rating on this. So, from Stellar, and I actually added a new one because I got some feedback from uh, my buddy Pete about the right below reasonable, there's kind of a gap. I, I added, ah, it's fine. That basically means, you know, almost like a C plus, B minus. So, uh, but from Stellar to... Ah, it's fine down the hill. No, as you can see this, you can see the scale. There you go, the good old scale. Um, and I would give this Santa Claus minty decent. All right then. Um, yeah, you know. Nice, but, you know, real festive for Christmas. So, it feels nice here out on the uh, Woodbridge, Virginia patio. Um, yeah, again, just the bourbon. You know, I could use more bourbon barrel, but it is what it is combining with the mint. But, and that's nice. Out of 100, being that it's a decent, I give it an A-. minus. I just give it a straight, I give it a 92. So, pretty basic A-. minus. Not, you know... Not pretty, pretty decent, but it's it's decent. Uh, anyway, I hope, hopefully you're enjoying your Christmas and your holidays. Hopefully you've got on a lovely, uh, you know, ugly sweater like myself with best package ever. All right, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. This away. Sorry, I'm 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 not smart. So all right, well. I'll be reviewing hopefully another few uh, local Virginia beers. And uh, yeah, I'm even going up to Pennsylvania for a second. Maybe I'll review something that's local around Pittsburgh. So, all right. Well, big ips yourself. Merry Christmas from, uh, you know, this elf of Santa Claus. And uh, we'll see you out there. Peace on, on Earth.